My name is Kim and along with my husband David, we live on our 83 acre property just outside of Berries. We've got a mixed farm with cattle and a little bit of chickens and, and honeybees and um, this is our life. So living on a property is not all fun and games. It's lots of challenges and it's lots of hard work. We're both new to properties and to cattle and to everything. When we came here, we became involved with local land services fairly quickly and through them join the small farms network, which is great. We come out to the landholders and we talk to them about improving their pasture management, weed management, but also look at things like tree planting, um, livestock health, and general biosecurity on farm. A lot of people come on a farm and they, they look and go, oh great, I'll get cattle. And then you go, mm, what else can I do? Because you've actually got a lot of land and you look for other opportunities to do things. Whatever your interest might be, there'll be groups and associations that you can actually engage with that will actually help to, to build your knowledge and experience in, in that particular area. So across the, the southeast region, we have around about four or five farmer networks. So local land services and the Small Farms Network has recently just developed a range of publications and resources for, for small landholders. As part of the Every Big Counts program, we have the website with the Blockies Bootcamp newsletter, which is really worth signing up for. So the services we provide include a range of workshops and it gives landholders an excuse to come together and peer learn but also learn a variety of skills off the skilled staff in South East Local Land Services. So we've done many courses through, through those guys. I've, um, I've done a course on low stress cattle handling, on dun beetles, on uh, soils. We've done our bee course through them as well. So there's just so much you can learn. And you're also connecting with different people who are doing the courses with you. A lot of them were new to rural life and to properties, so that was great. You can talk about your experiences and you're just all learning together. With all of those things, you, you've got to invest the time, but it comes back to you in, in money-saving ideas and, and time-saving ideas on your own property. And that's really huge value to anyone who's, who's getting on the land. The best part of my job is working with people like David and Kim and other new people who are just starting their journey. And what we've found over the years is the fact that landholders getting to know their neighbours and their community actually reduces the turnover rate on land. We've got here the best neighbourly relations we've ever had in our lives. Having strong neighbours is, is essential on the farm, but it kind of happens naturally. My neighbour, he didn't want to particularly want to pay a contractor, so we decided we would do the fencing together. And normally you find your neighbour knows better more than you do anyway. So my key message for new landholders is get involved, get connected with your local farmers network and your local land services. So there's a great opportunity to learn and help you along on your journey. If you're thinking about moving to the country, don't leave it too long. If that's what you want to do, just jump in and do it. You won't regret it.